South Coast Rep has been an incredible home for Avaz. It's I couldn't imagine a more perfect way to kick things off with this play in Southern California, which is the largest home to Iranians outside of Iran. I was told that this is the first Iranian play being produced at a theater in Southern California, um, which is both really exciting and also, um, you know, I want to break down the doors to the theater and uh, it feels like a really exciting step. In last year's festival, um, we made some really exciting discoveries about the play with Moritz von Stupnagel, who's my director. He's absolutely brilliant. And, um, you know, we'd been on this journey together for a while, uh, making this play and learning about it. But um, we actually discovered some really exciting things about the ending, which, you know, no spoiler alerts, honey, you're gonna have to come see the play. But, um, you know, it was, um, we we sort of, planted a new seed for the ending, which has just continued to unfold as we've taken it around the country. So I'm really excited for audiences to see this version of the play, particularly right now. I mean, there's there's a women-led revolution happening right now in Iran. It's been going on for several months. And, you know, what struck me is that my mother's story and what happened to my mother 40 years ago is so parallel to um, both, you know, her peers and and friends who who left at the same time, but also there are a lot of parallels to what's happening right now in in my sort of my motherland, and um, it feels like a, a real chance to honor uh, my mother's story, and um, I think what's happening now just adds layers of complexity and urgency to 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 her story. Um, but she's also asking universal questions that, you know, that everyone has uh, about identity and belonging and home. And um, yeah, you know, one call coming out of Iran right now is be our voice. You know, as the internet's been shut down at various times, um, the call is, you know, be our voice. And I think that's uh, a sort of really special feature, an important feature, I think, of being an artist is that we get a chance to, in some small way, um, lend a voice to the the sort of chorus of voices that are are going on and sort of an, an urging for freedom, for woman life freedom. I'm Michael Cheyenne. I wrote Avaz at South Coast Rep, and I hope you'll come and see me play my mother. If you want to little, learn a little more about the play, take a listen to this conversation. Southern California is actually the largest home to Iranians outside of Iran. And, um, you know, I hope that this play is an invitation to uh, to folks who are not familiar with Iranian culture to sort of welcome, I wanna welcome people in to my family's history and to our culture and our traditions. Um, and also, you know, the fabulosity of this Noru celebration, you know, and um, particularly at this critical time for Iranians and Iran, you know, I think it's it's been really special for me to um, to add my voice to the chorus of voices that are fighting for women life freedom, and um, it just means the world to me. South Coast Rep has just been absolutely fabulous. I uh, started working with them last year at the Pacific Playwrights Festival, and. Um, uh, they programmed Avaz in the festival. We actually had four readings over the course of the weekend. So I learned a lot about the play, um, you know, sort of on its feet. And um, it was sort of another stop in the journey. It was an interesting thing because with Moritz, I've taken the play now to uh, a bunch of different places. We we did it at La Mama. We got support from the Sundance Institute and uh, Theater Aspen and Ojai Playwrights Conference all over the place. And South Coast Rep was where we really sort of um, started this journey of, you know, going deeper into, you know, what it means. We we, we took the play all over. And um, at South Coast Rep, we did a lot of excellent work uh, and made some really exciting discoveries. So it's it just means the world to be back here um, doing the world premiere of Avaz. You know, as a kid, I would ask my mother about her experience of, of leaving Iran. And um, she wouldn't really answer my questions. It was very, it felt taboo. You know, it felt like this, you know, sort of dangerous subject. And, um, you know, 
I had an idea uh, to interview her. And so I set down the tape recorder and I, and I sort of just asked her the questions that I'd always wanted to ask. And I think that formality of the interview set up uh, a space that, I don't know, it, it freed her to, um, to talk about these subjects that she'd never really talked to me about. And that interview really stayed with me. Um, and then I went to uh, South. I went to. I went to Lambda Literary. Um, I was a fellow. I was a Lambda Literary playwriting fellow, and I went to their retreat. And Luis Alfaro was leading the retreat, and he had us do this exercise where we put our hand over our hearts and feel the heartbeat of a character. And I really felt my mother, and I started listening to this sort of feeling that I had, and um, envisioning her. And she started telling me this, this character started telling me her story. And, and I figured, you know, as an artist, if my mother wasn't willing or able to tell me her story, um, I could imagine myself into it. And it kind of felt like channeling, you know? Um, and it, what was strange was a lot of the details that I had imagined actually turned out to be true to her experience. And so, it was a really kind of surreal experience. Yeah, so Avaz is um, a one-woman show. <laughs> I'm the woman. And um, it takes place on Nowruz, which is the Persian New Year. And you're sort of, as an audience, being welcomed into Roya's home for, um, for this celebration. And as she is uh, sort of welcoming you and, and sharing the customs and traditions of this new year, um, she recounts stories from her past. And you know, the ghosts of her past sort of, come, she, comes she comes face to face with the ghosts from her past and ultimately has to reveal herself. It was funny, when I, when I started writing this play, my mother would say, why well, you want to write a play about me? You know, what there is to write. Now she's like, when are we doing my play? I'm like, oh, okay, so it's your play now. All right, I understand. She's like, I take 10%. I'm like, okay, all right. You know, mama knows best, baby. Um, you know, my mother is this larger than life character and she's really funny and charming and incredibly generous as a hostess. Um, and, you know, there's, so I love that. I love those, those sort of, I love her larger than lifeness. And I'm also, my question about the play was what's behind that larger than lifeness? You know, what's behind that larger than lifeness? And that's kind of part of the investigation because she's telling these stories about her history and her past. And it's very fun and funny. And, you know, you're sort of along with, uh, along with her for this ride. And then, you know, boom, there are some, there are some real gut punches and, you know, it takes the audience by surprise, but also I think takes the character by surprise. I think what's really special about the play is that my mother is such a funny, larger than life character. And, in some ways, she's like a stand-up comedian, um, but in other ways, it's there's this tension because she's sort of telling these really challenging, difficult stories that um, bring up um, parts of her past that she doesn't necessarily want to face. And so, you know, some people have told me as we've as we've done the play around the country that it feels sort of like a roller coaster because um, you know the character is very sharp and she will turn from this, you know, really funny thing to something that is really unexpected or vice versa. And so, um, you know, I want to welcome people into my culture and into my family's history and share that with audiences um, here in Costa Mesa in Orange County. Um, and, 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 and I want to bring light to the stories about Iranians, which have really uh, not, not, you know, I want to bring light to stories about Iranians, which are rarely told on stage or on screen. You know, um, I'm told this is the first uh, Iranian play that's being produced at a, at a Lort theater in Southern California. Well, first of all, I'm really excited about the team that we've put together for Avaz, which is just beyond my wildest dreams. I mean, it's a Tony Award, Emmy Award winning team um, led by Maritz von Stupnagel, uh, who is just the most brilliant director I could have imagined working with. Um, and, um, 
you know, just some of the most incredible designers and um, collaborators that I've ever, ever worked with in my life. So, um, you know, our set was designed by Beowulf Barrett. Um, it's just a total fantasy that you're sort of swept right into as soon as you walk into the theater. Um, the costumes are designed by a dear friend of mine, Domino Schwartz, um, who is, who I worked with on We're Here on HBO Max. And um, it is just pure fabulosity, you know, the whole way through. So um, I'm, I'm really thrilled about the team and... Um, I think Pacific Playwrights Festival is just such a beautiful opportunity for playwrights to connect with audiences, but also with each other and other theater professionals and collaborators who are just making some of the most dynamic work in the country. Um, and, you know, at this time when uh, a number of festivals and, and, ven and outlets for playwrights have been closed down, I think it's just it's, it's more important than than ever to have this place where we can really focus on developing new plays and um, and sort of br introducing them to the world. So I feel quite thrilled to be doing the world premiere of Avaz at South Coast. You know, I've been really surprised as we've taken the play around the country, how much people come up to me from all different backgrounds and ages, and they just say, um, you know, they'll either say like, that was my mother too, or, or you know they they each find a different connection point with the play um because i think some of the so many of the questions that the character asks are questions that we deal with in in everyday life told through this lens that some audiences might not be familiar with you know through this you know situated in an iranian community and in an iranian context so um it feels really special to be able to get to bring that to life also with the uh, the humor and the fabulosity and the excess of this play and of this character you know, it just feels like a, such a blessing to get to share that with with folks. It just means the world to me. I'm Michael Cheyenne. I'm the playwright of Avaz, and I hope you'll come and see me play my mother, Every Gay Man's Dream. I'll see you at the theater. <laughs>